Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm just going to do an update video kind of on the market, but I'm also going to talk about the new league SBCs, how to profit off them, and the best way to approach them. A lot of you guys have been asking me about that, although I don't think bronze pack method is the most profitable method. I don't really call it like a trading method per se. I want to show you guys how you can craft bronze packs into packs if you guys are like pack addicts and not lose a lot of coins along the way. If you guys enjoyed today's video, all that I ask is that you like the video. I have to be liked. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. You'll make a lot more coins being here than if you're not. All right, I want to do a really quick market update on what I think is one of the worst promos I've ever seen in foot. This is the worst. <laughs> This is called the Numbers Up promo sponsored by Adidas. I made a joke on Twitter that it's really funny that Adidas is sponsoring, but a lot of these kits have, of course, Nike and Puma. I know those are the club sponsors, but it is really funny to see. I would have put them in, like, Adidas attire, right? Because you don't really see their boots until they're in-game, but on these cover images, I would just throw them in a, a, a special Adidas attire. You know, I think that would be smart from a branding perspective. These cards are really really interesting basically they got an upgrade in one specific stat based on the boots they wear boots hmm? they call cleats boots some of them are just relative are pretty like irrelevant for what they are for example probably the one that i find funniest is this hummels card he has 80 he got his upgrade in passing so he's a <laughs> an 88 center back with 60 pace and 87 passing so that means he's going to get two upgrades as well and his two upgrades are going to bring his pace to 62. And the final upgrades are coming in the end of April. So keep in mind, these cards will be finished for upgrades at the very end of April, which is Team of the Seasons. I don't think they pace these cards appropriately at all. Obviously, some of them are pretty good already, like Jota and Felix. But so many of them are uninteresting, like Newhouse, Diawara, Fabian, like Hummels. I just don't understand fully the boost. I think they should have boosted some other stats personally and made them more usable right off the bat. It's a really interesting promo and one that hasn't excited a lot of people, that's for sure. Next, I just wanted to mention kind of the problem EA is running into. I've talked about this before. EA is releasing SBCs right now that just aren't very good value. So this Murata came out and he's like 80k. To me, that's just way overpriced because if you look at Murata, he's got three star skills, four star weak foot. His card's decent. I would just say decent at most, but he's 80k. The issue with EA killing the market this year is a card like Arnautovic, who's harder to link for sure, but he's like 14k on the market, okay? Okay. And Arnautovic, to me, with 4-star, four 4-star, four he's probably the better card. I think that EA is overpricing a lot of SBCs. Be really specific in what you're doing. So, like, Fakir, Bernardo Silva, those are some better value ones. Don't do SBCs that have a really comparable card for way cheaper on the market. Murata, honestly, wouldn't be above 25k on the market. So, to price him around 80k as an SBC that you never, you never get back those coins or players, do not do that SBC. Stop it. All right, now the moment you guys have been waiting for, let's talk about the new League SBC system. On my screen right now, you are seeing that I'm selling some silver rares. In another video, I talked about picking them up at discard for zero risk and they could double. And a lot of them already have doubled, okay? Argentina rares, those went up about two times or three times as much for the marquee matchups this week. League Un rares did amazing because of the League SBC. So you're seeing I'm selling some of the center backs at like three to 4K, which is nuts. This card literally cost me 250 coins, so... If you guys club stocks and you're already making a lot of profit, if you have more like Germany players, Italian players, those league SVCs should come as well and just continue to hold them. But you can never go wrong on those zero risk investments and hopefully some of them are paying out for you. So on the screen, you're seeing the three new league SBCs. EA changed the formatting this year, and I don't really know what to think about it. I'm kind of impartial because I'm not a league SBC grinder personally. If you guys are, let me know below what you think of the new format because we got League One, Eredivisie, and MLS. And the huge difference this year is they're not asking for specific teams. It's literally just asking for certain ratings plus 11 players from the league. So this is going to help leagues retain a value as a whole, right? Any cards from the MLS are going to be valued similarly. It's not like one team is going to skyrocket like we've had in years past for a casual perspective i think it's a lot easier i think that you can easily track what you got in your club and you don't have to worry about the different values as much so i think it's easier in that sense but in terms of making profit from trading to me it looks a little bit more similar i don't think it really matters and i'll show you a few ways you can trade with this too i've talked to a few league svc grinders recently and they told me that there are two approaches to doing this to essentially make a profit or lose very little along the way if you just want to store up some saved pack the best way to go about doing this is going to be doing bronze pack method 
And when you're doing bronze pack method, you want to keep anything from either the MLS or the Eredivisie. And that's approach one, and that's really simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to sell any expensive bronzes you pack. You're even going to sell those League One Uber Eats because they're so expensive. You're going to keep the Eredivisie and MLS cards, and you're going to keep any bronze players in your club that don't have value, okay? Because you can throw them into silver upgrades or bronze upgrades, excuse me and uh, keep grinding that way. The other approach I've heard to this just very slightly, which is just continue to do the bronze pack method, but only keeping the MLS cards, and then essentially rotating through the MLS SBC, keeping all those bronzes that have off nations and off leagues in your club, and doing multiple bronze upgrades with them until you have enough to co further complete the League Un Uber Eats SBC or the Eredivisie SBC. You could do that either way. It's probably easiest for someone like me who doesn't grind as much to do Eredivis to keep Eredivisie and MLS out of bronze packs and go from there, and then do the bronze upgrades with the rest of the cards we get. If you do it that way and you're getting some decent luck in your bronze pack, you're getting a card that sells for 500, occasionally 700. Uh, some managers that are bronze sell for 5k, you know, the French ones. There is a chance that you're going to make some profit that way but again if you're doing it for profit I don't think it's the best method instead think about doing it for building up packs or building up your club for those of you guys that like having a massive club full of stuff like I mentioned with the league SBCs changing you're seeing some cards as a whole hold more values I'm gonna show you guys a few filters here of how you can make coins and you can play around with these there's literally like infinite filters you could make yourself but I want to show you a few today to get started so I'm gonna go to silverware center backs we're gonna change nationality to France here and then we're going to go to League One Uber Eats. So I'm going to show you that there are a lot of cards here that hold similar values. So they're more than 1,200, more than 1,900, more than 2,200. Wow, they're actually up a little bit from when I checked. So they're 2,600 coins, okay? Okay. So what you can do here is you have a sniping filter now. You can either compare price and back out, compare price, back out, nothing crazy, or you have an open bidding or mass bidding filter here. And the nice thing is you have multiple cards that are going to hit this category. You could also remove France from this. And I think there are a few more in here. Let me see if I can expand the price a little bit. You could also like, remove France from it and just go for rare center backs too. So here are a few more that are 2,800. You could open bid on them for 23, 2,400. Make a small amount per card, right? But you have a super broad mass bidding or sniping filter now where you're going to make a few hundred coins a card a lot of the time and you can be open bidding on all these and because they all hold similar value that should make it really easy on you where you know exactly what to do right you're bidding up to 2300 2400 some sell at 26 to 2800 you're making again three 100 200 300 400 coins profit per card which is great on a low budget now let me show you another example from the mls and this one's actually kind of funny because you're going to see a lot of people not recognize that bronzes are going to hold a lot of value in this league so i'm going to go to defenders and i'm going to go to the mls here okay so really really broad right and then i'm going to go to check their minimum buy now in the market so that's probably a buy. It looked like I set my filter to, well, 550. What is he? So the minimum buy now on these right now is 750 coins. We just saw one pop up for 550. Again, people don't realize that these hold so much value. We have a sniping filter, right? We could snipe at 600 or under. Some of these cards are probably going to sell at 800, 900, 1,000 coins. Other will sell right at 750. And you're seeing here they pop up. Let's check what this guy sells for. It looks like he's selling for around 800 coins to me. He's a bronze rare. Yeah, so he sells for around 800 coins. That was a good snipe as well. You could also start open bidding on these too, right? You know that all that values are 750 coins plus. So if I bid 500 coins here, I'm going to make a profit. 500 coins here, I'm going to make a profit. And you see there's this whole page is under two minutes. So you're seeing a huge opportunity here to make coins. Maybe I'll do one of the corny YouTube video titles that says make 3k a minute because it is you know it is possible to make a few k a minute if you're getting lucky on bids let's check what this guy sells for looks like we're gonna win him at 500 looks to me like he sells at 850 900 i would never typically list them at the lowest so call it 850 900 and good to go there and then you just keep on you keep on rolling through it these are just a few filters that i have found with very little trial and error but there's tons you can customize. You could go to the Era Divisi, you could go to attackers, center backs, bronze rares, silver rares. You could even do gold non rares. The other day I was checking and pretty much all gold commons were up from the League One to like uh, 650 coins, which made 
a super easy mass bidding filter. It looks like they're a little bit higher right now. Again, if you guys are into mass bidding and want super broad filters, you start mass, well, there's some sniping ones too at 400. You start mass bidding these at 500 coins. Some of them are gonna sell at 600, some are gonna sell at 700, and you're good to go. So you start mass bidding 500, you sell, good to go there. Someone's already doing it right now. So it's a decent approach for sure, especially when we get supply. Hopefully this video helps you guys out that wanna grind these SBCs and not lose a lot of coins or just save up some packs for team of the year or Black Friday, whatever it may be, the next promo. Don't use any on this crappy Adidas promo. Not enough players are worth something, but save your packs if you're doing all these. And for those of you guys that are trading it, Hopefully this helps you guys a lot on a low budget. I showed you it just, again, just a few ways you can make coins off it right now. We're probably going to get another set of league SBCs in the future and it's going to work the same. If you're a low budget, these are ways to make like 30 to 50K a day, which is massive. If you're making like 30K a day, that's 200K a week. And most people will be super pleased with that. If you make around 200K a week, you're making around a million coins a month, which is 10 million plus on the year. That is probably gonna be more than 99% of FIFA users have. Quick mess. Just keep grinding, just keep finding Finding out a few different methods that work for you, get creative with your filters, and get on the move. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you drop a like on the video, and if you're new here, consider subscribing. If you guys want to see me run through the bronze pack method and how I would do the league SBCs accordingly, let me know and I can show you guys like maybe like a 5-10 to 10 minute video of me running through it. Let me know what you guys want to see, that's what this channel is for, I'm here to help you guys out. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, see you next time, peace. <laughs>